So my career, gosh, actually it started when I think about my first job was I had a paper route. So I was a paper boy and running around on a bike, you know, launching papers at people's doors. It was kind of fun. When I think back on that, it was that desire to have independence and desire to kind of take charge, I guess, of my own life about how I can make money and not be dependent on others. And that really led me to my first real job, if you will, which uh, I ran a baseball card shop. I love collecting baseball cards and friends of mine owned a baseball card shop and they were in the middle of trying to sell it but they asked me if I'd be interested in working there part-time which turned into uh, Monday through Friday over summer and what was really cool was they were closing this their store they're trying to sell their business and so they taught me how to buy cards they taught me how to negotiate and I got to buy them for myself so that was really really cool because I, I had like the greatest job I love baseball cards I was collecting baseball cards, and then I got to buy the best ones that people wanted to sell. And one of the coolest experiences I had in the baseball card shop was about once a month, they had a baseball card show on the convention center floor, and I had a table every month. And I got to sell, buy, trade, and that was just a dream job as a 15-year-old who loved collecting baseball cards, and then make some money while I was doing it. How great was that? When the store sold, that led me to Walgreens. And so I got a job when I was 16 years old at Walgreens, stocking shelves, sweeping floors, mopping bathrooms, and changing signs and cashiering. But I learned a lot at Walgreens because it was just a part-time job for me. I thought I had life figured out. I wanted to be a professional athlete, a doctor or a lawyer. I had these grandiose plans, but what I didn't understand is life had a different uh, path for me. And that was because I had very strong mentors at Walgreens that saw something in me that impacted who I am as a leader. So I had a lot of mentors at Walgreens. Uh, Mike Schiefling was one of the first mentors that really talked me into a career in retail, but really talked to me about being responsible and taking charge, and gave me an opportunity to go into management. And so I was 19 years old, became an assistant manager for Walgreens and worked my way up. I was a store manager when I was 20, and I did that for five years. I went back to school to finish my degree because I thought it was important that I wasn't just dependent on Walgreens. They, you know, I wanted to have uh, that freedom for myself as well. Went back to school full-time, was a store manager full-time, so did both and finished my degree. Uh, ended up leaving Walgreens, joined CVS. So I was a district manager for CVS and had lots of different responsibilities. And uh, with CVS, started moving professionally. Had an opportunity to become a regional, moved to the North Carolina market, covered South Carolina and parts of Georgia, and just bounced around the country from Charlotte to New York to Northern California. Had increasing responsibilities in different roles, and I received a phone call from Banfield about a chief operating officer position. They were looking for someone with a little healthcare background and multi-unit management, and it was a real nice tie into what Banfield is. Dispersed workforce, multi-unit, but really focused on healthcare, and in our case, a love for pets. I fell in love with the purpose of the company. When I still worked at CVS, I, was, I would travel different markets, actually stopping in the Banfields, trying to understand like what is a Banfield, but more importantly, who are the people behind Banfield? And that was exciting because it was very similar to the role that I did at CVS. And it really was about like operational excellence, about how we can make each hospital more successful. So I joined as a chief operating officer and about a year into that role, then had the opportunity to become president of Banfield. Yeah.